displayed here is a bulletproof type Euro EVC, which means ever clear. Uh, so in our line of promoting today, we'll be ensuring that the customers go to cost of operation with a blower, and it's one of our first in cost. But other than this, uh, we have not, we have, uh, we have not sort of, we have promoting many products, which are made in our sustainable platform of offering. So, uh, we are looking at the What are the What are the skills that we have? Well, we have our own, uh, you know, I would say four pillars of sustainability. One of the things we talk about is sourcing our materials, our materials, responsibility. We will work with people whose sustainability goals or policies are you know, better than us. At least for 75% of our work. Second thing is uh, basically empowering our employees and the communities we work for. Their uh, safety for our buildings, driving to talking on zero incidental accidents. We are talking of development of our people so that they are able to serve the customer freezing their negatives. And uh, last but not least is quality. We like to do a most certain of the hours, but we don't know the quality that we need. Where we pay an employee, uh, or rather we give him leave to go and volunteer. The uh, third area is the building for a better tomorrow. So, chemicals are uh, harmful both for human beings and uh, So, by the year 2015, we will have the least amount of uh, products which are harmful for people. And last but not the least is protecting the pain. We are saying by 2020, we will become a net carbon zero, and by 2050, we will like to become carbon zero. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, uh, most of us, we are using the technology for the world. So, people in Europe or people in the US already have done it. I'm saying, yeah, it's difficult. But then we will leave from looking at what our company has done. So, I think it's a good thing for us. Now, the very huge trend that is happening is technology, and digitization, and digitization, and industry 4.0. And we are also talking about industry 4.0. So, how far is the value of the nation coming back to the world? Yeah, so uh, you're right, since that we're really looking at uh, Europe. We're looking at China, we're talking about industry 4.0 or smart manufacturing. I think India has some places to go before we uh, have that. But uh, basically, if you really look at the last uh, 15 years or so, in fact, it's in India. Primarily, they have a significant uh, the image is in the sector. In fact, it's much smaller. The amount of investments that we put in for you know, industry 4.0 has not been much. But as I said, there's something which we are picking up and uh, it's going to happen very fast. Not only really because of uh, bringing in automation or smart manufacturing, but also other fact is that in the last 15 20 years, where so much of uh, we don't have the right talent for showing the industry deliverance. We need to do more of it. The next couple of years, we see more of it. We talked about the talent deficits. Is there an organization doing any specific work? We haven't started here yet.